안녕하세요. For the second time, today let's talk about 9 out of 26 Korean original words recorded by the Oxford English Dictionary in September 2021. The first word, 먹방. 먹방 is a mixture of 먹 comes from 먹다 to eat and 방 comes from 방송 broadcasting. Mokbang is a video that is live streamed that features a person eating a large quantity of food and talking to the audience. In English, it's known as eating show. As this broadcasting format gained worldwide popularity through YouTube, the Korean Mokbang was reproduced by YouTubers around the world and became a pronoun. However, in 2022, the popularity of mukbang is declining. Instead, it's evolving into a soshik mukbang. Soshik means a small eating, that is eating a little bit at a time. They even divide the amount they eat at one time into three or four days. This phenomenon occurred because there is a growing awareness that mukbang is harmful to health and environment. According to this change of trend, so shikja, which means the master of small eating, has appeared. <laughs> the second four words, 치맥, 삼겹살, 갈비, 불고기. This section is all about Korean meat dishes. First of all, I'm really sorry for the pictures if you don't eat meat. Chime is a compound word of English and Korean. The letter chi comes from chicken and mek comes from mekju, beer. In Korean style restaurants, fried chicken served with a beer. Like a beer, there are various types of chicken, from fried to soy sauce, grilled, and even seasoned. Chimek was popularized outside Korea with the Korean television series, Beoreso On Kude, My Love from the Star, in 2013. Tamgyeopsal is a dish of thinly sliced pork belly usually serve the raw to be cooked by the diner on a tabletop grill. Samgyeopsal is a favorite meal at company dinners. At this time, soju is a fantastic drink, like the combination of chicken and beer. <laughs> However, evening staff dinners known as huesik, huesik, are starting to change because people want to have time for themselves after work. So the number of workers having a light lunch with the co-workers and colleagues without alcohol is increasing. It's also one of favorite menus when talking with close friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a small tip. In this case of grilled dishes, you can make the taste richer when you wrap the meat various vegetables with samjang seasoned soybean paste and pache muchim seasoned green onion. We say this sam vegetable wrapped meat or rice. <laughs> The grilled dishes like samgyeopsal are usually cut using scissors at the table. If you experience something like this in the future, don't be surprised. Also, many people like to eat samgyeopsal with the grilled kimchi. <laughs> Kalbi is a dish of beef short ribs. 
usually marinated in soy sauce, garlic, and sugar. But galbi literally means ribs. Galbi can be steamed in the kitchen or grilled at the table. The left one is galbi jim, which is steamed, and the right one is galbi kui, which is grilled like a samgyeopsal. Also, there is a seng galbi kui, grilled raw beef ribs that sprinkle on salt without seasoning. This is bulgogi. I think you already know this dish. Bulgogi is a dish of thin slices of beef which are marinated, then grilled or stir-fried. This is noviani, a traditional grilled bulgogi. And this is a modern grilled bulgogi. And this is a stir-fried bulgogi. By the way, take a look at the right one. It has broth. Can these three be called the same food? The answer is yes. What they have in common is that they are pre-seasoned. Korean meat dishes are characterized by marinated, like a bulgogi and galbi. Bulgogi is a compound word of bul, fire, and gogi, meat. It means meat cooked on fire. So thanks to its ambiguous name, bulgogi has become Korea's refrigerative meat dish and has expanded to include all kinds of roasted meat, such as yuksu bulgogi, broth bulgogi, tukbegi bulgogi, hot pot bulgogi, bulgogi pizza, and bulgogi burger. Also, new bulgogi dishes made with the various ingredients beyond the beef. The third three words, kimbap, japchae, dongchimi. From now on, we will talk about festival dishes. Kimbap is a dish consisting of cooked rice and other ingredients wrapped in a sheet of seaweed and cut into bite-sized slices. Kimbap is also a compound word of kim, seaweed, especially laver, and Bap, cooked rice. Kimbap is not only rich in nutrients, but also can be prepared quickly and is easy to bring. So it is enjoyed as a light lunch during outdoor activities such as hiking. <laughs> there are various types of kimbap depending on what is in the ingredients such as cheese kimbap, tuna kimbap, and donkas kimbap. Also, kimbap has evolved into a form suitable for the needs. For example, there is a chungmu kimbap, which originated from the seaside city of Chungmu, uses only rice as its ingredient, and serves seasoned squid and radish kimchi as side dishes. There is a story. In the 1950s, Chungmu kimbap was born from the idea of separating rice from ingredients by all the ladies who were selling kimbap to passengers on the ship because regular kimbap went quickly bad. Koreans have eaten a lot of edible seaweed such as kim, laver, and miyok, sea mustard. According to records, People ate seaweed in Korea before the Three Kingdoms period, that is, uh, since BC. Also, kim itself has been eaten in a variety of ways. In particular, kim, which is seasoned with a mixture of oil and salt and roasted over high heat, has a crispy texture and is perfect as a side dish to eat with bland rice. Take a look at the table. Did you find kim? Yes, it's in the middle right. Japche consists of jap meaning mixed and che meaning cheso festivals. So it literally means mixed festivals. Japche is a dish 
consisting of a stir-fried dangmyeon with the vegetables and other ingredients, and typically seasoned with soy sauce and sesame oil. Dangmyeon, glass noodles, is made from sweet potato starch. Japchae is a side dish that is usually eaten with the rice, and also it has been an indispensable dish at banquets and parties. However, the original japchae was quite different from that of today. This is the original one. It was a dish made with 11 kinds of seasonal vegetables and mushrooms, and seasoned pheasant meat sprinkled with a thick sauce, but without noodles. Finally, at the end of the 19th century, noodles were added, and then it became the present japchae while adding more ingredients, such as carrots, spinach, paprika, bean sprouts, seafood, and pork. Like this, various types of japchae are made depending on the ingredients. So you can make a special japchae for yourself with your favorite ingredients. Dongchi mi is a type of kimchi made with a radish and typically also containing napa cabbage, green onions, green chili, and pear. I have a quick question. What kind of food do you like to eat in the cold winter? Hot food, right? However, in Korea, traditionally people enjoy the eating dongchi mi in winter with a frozen broth. Dongchi mi helps the digestion by eating it with a dry or greasy food such as goguma, steamed sweet potatoes, duck, rice cake, and suyu, boiled pork slices. So there is an old saying, 떡줄 사람은 꿈도 안 꾸는데 김치국부터 마신다. People drink kimchi liquid in advance, even if the one who has some rice cake is not thinking about giving them to others at all. There's a similar proverb in English, don't count your chickens before they are hatched. Actually, the original ingredient for kimchi was a radish, not cabbage. So dongchi mi shows the shape of early kimchi well. Since then, many kinds of kimchi have developed, such as baked kimchi, white kimchi using cabbage, nabak kimchi, using radish and cabbage, tongbe baked kimchi, pear white kimchi from temples where meat is forbidden, and the most luxurious one, bossam kimchi, made with vegetables, fruits, mushrooms, and even seafood. And especially in hot regions, spicy and salty kimchi without broth was developed for convenience of storage. The last word, banchan. Banchan is a side dish served along with the rice as part of typical Korean meal. Can you understand what the banchan is? Let me explain. The staple food of Koreans is bap, rice. But bap doesn't have any taste, as you know. So we needed something to eat with this bland and plain rice. So rice and side dishes should be on the table together. Look at the table. Did you find the pop? Yes, it's on bottom left. And take a look at the table again. Can you see a dish next to the rice? This is guk, soup. Korean rice is sticky, so it's a tradition to eat soup with rice. Of course, we can eat rice without soup, but we are happier when we have soup. As such, the basics of Korean table are bap, rice, guk, soup, and banchan, side dishes. That's why Korean food is characterized by being served all at once on one table. Look at this. It's modern meal time. There is rice and soup in front of each person, and in the center, there is a side dishes that everyone can share. When you eat at a Korean restaurant, 
Most of the side dishes are free, so you can ask for more except when the ingredients are very expensive. Regular restaurants offer a specific single dish, such as kukbap, jjimdak, and naengmyeon, etc. But unlike these kind of regular restaurants, there are hanjongshi restaurants. This is a traditional dining table. Originally, the traditional table setting was to give each person one independent table, but this was very inconvenient. So people prepared a large table full of food for several people. That is hanjongshik. Hanjongshik is a modern table setting in which the dishes are served in courses, including appetizers, rice and various side dishes as the main dish, and dessert, just like a Western dinner table. Das ist äh, Kalbi-Chim, heißt das sind quasi äh, gedämpfte Rippchen. Ich muss ehrlich sagen, das Kalbi-Chim ist wirklich äh, ein erste Sahne. Welches? Probieren wir das gleich. Das ist dein Favorite hier? Ja. Oh. Hey, no more time more support. Hey. Omida Tayo. Omida There is also a more luxurious Hanjong Shik, in which a variety of distinctive dishes are served one after another. In this restaurant, you have to eat slowly and little to enjoy it until the end. Let me tell you a very interesting phenomenon related to banchan side dishes. Koreans should have something to eat even when we drink. It's called anju. This is a traditional drinking table. It's much heavier than the snack with the drinks, so you think. And these are very modern dishes with the drinks. We enjoy a variety of side dishes, from those with the broth, to those without broth, and to those that are dry. Can you see the dishes besides alcohol? It's anju. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Enjoy your meal. Next time, let's talk about the last seven words. 안녕히 계세요.